A year ago, Nastia Lukin became the best gymnast on the planet Earth. And what a year it has been for this girl. She has traveled the country, and she has traveled the world, and she has just about done everything an Olympic champion can do. She has won awards. She's made an appearance on Oprah, on Leno. She's met the president. She's won every conceivable award, including the USOC Sports Woman of the Year. I think she stepped in for Maria Sharapova at Wimbledon for a set, and I do believe she even saved a cat on the way to the arena today. This girl can do it all. She reached the pinnacle with her father right there, winning the most coveted medal at the Olympic Games, the women's all around. But she is not done. She is back, and this is her live, getting ready to compete in her first competition since winning that Olympic gold medal. She is not done. She still has that fire. She might have grown up a little bit, but one thing that has not changed is she still has that drive, and she does not want to give up being a world-class gymnast. Welcome to the CoverGirl Classic in Des Moines, Iowa, where all S's are silent. My name is John Roethlisberger, and I'm here with my 2000 Olympic teammate, Tasha Schweiker. Tasha, this is an exciting time. We're here to see not only the past, but possibly the future of American gymnastics. John, I am so excited to be here at the 2009 CoverGirl Classic. It's going to be a great competition, and it's going to be good to see the new faces of our next generation. And it's fun to be here and see, see uh, Nasi out there on the floor again. I know she has been so amazing, not just last year, but all the years leading up. But she is also going to be joined by her Olympic teammate today in her first competition back, Sam Peshek. And there she is, just uh, getting uh, getting the groove back and feeling those nerves a little bit, she mentioned yesterday. But she says she likes it. She likes to be back out on that competition floor. That's right. This is Sam's first big competition since the gym switch. She's now training with Bridget Sloan at Marvin Sharp's gym. So. She's in good hands. And I will never forget being in Beijing and watching that team come out on the floor without Sam. She gets her in the warm-up gym. She still competed in the team prelims, but quite uh, quite an adjustment the team had to make, but she still brought home that silver medal and an amazing experience for her. On the other hand, we have the future right there, Sabrina Vega, and she is going to be a fun girl to watch as well. I talked to Sabrina before the competition today, and she is so ecstatic to be out here on the floor with the seniors. I asked her, you know, you've been working out in the group with Nase Lukin. How is that? Gave me the biggest smile in the world. Just could not believe she was in the same training group as her idol. When we return, the past meets the future as we lay the first brick on the road to London. We will be live from Des Moines, Iowa when we return. The CoverGirl Classic is being brought to you by CoverGirl. Check out CoverGirl Lash Blast and Lash Blast Lux at CoverGirl.com. Welcome back to Veterans Memorial Auditorium here in Des Moines, Iowa, as we get ready for competition. One more look at Olympic champion Nastia Lukin in her first competition back. And I kind of wonder myself, does she still get nervous? I mean, here we are in Des Moines, Iowa. I mean, it's halfway around the world from Beijing, China, where she won an Olympic gold medal. You'd think it would be the easiest thing in the world for her. Here we go, first up on the balance team, Sabrina Vega. We mentioned her in the open as one of the up-and-coming stars for the United States. She's still a junior, but definitely somebody to watch as, you, as the years roll by as we get closer to London. Sabrina is one of the four juniors competing in the senior session tonight. Coached by a couple of Olympians herself, only 14 years old as we saw. Coached by Saren and Teodora, both from Romania, both Olympians. So quite, quite the leadership in her group. That was a funereal by Cam Springley out step out. Now we're going to see that series a lot today. With the new code, most of the connections are only worth one-tenth in connection bonus. For an aerial, that can really out, step out, is one that's worth two. Her coach, Teodoro, was actually a teammate of Nadia Kalmanich in 1976 when Nadia got the perfect 10 and won the gold medal. So I was talking to her a little bit before the competition. Ironically enough, Teodoro was also coached by Marta and Bella back in the day. And uh, one thing that evidently Teodora and Marta have in common is they're both very strict and demanding. But Sabrina also mentioned...
that her coaches are kind of like her second parents to her. Hey, anytime you can stay on the beam, first rotation, that's got to be a good sign. And there's Teodora, 1976 Olympian. Wonderful routine. Now, we saw the full turn there, big wobble. And again, just like the old code, a full turn is part of an element that needs to be done. And here we go with one of the alternates for the, the 2008 Olympic team, Yana Beagerhead. Not really the experience she hoped to have, Tasha going into 2008, especially after a great three years leading up to those games, was the alternate, didn't get to go on the floor, and kind of was a little bit of a bitter pill for her to swallow. That's right. I talked to Yana's mother, Andrea, before the meet, and she talked about how in the alternate situation, it was kind of unfortunate for Yana because she didn't get the fair chance. Two of the girls that were on the team were injured. However, they were not replaced with the alternates like they should have been. The first event that Yana has to tackle is going to be the vault and not really one of her best events and kind of the new rules have kind of hurt her a little bit on this event is that right tasha that's right your chain one and a half in the old code used to be worth a 5.5 in the new code they have decreased it two tenths down to a 5.3 so there's a bigger gap between the one and a half and the double the double being worth a 5.8 Very nice, clean one and a half, just a small hop in the landing. Not going to be a big score, though, most likely, but uh, again, comes out of the gate strong. You can see her mom working with her a little bit there. I talked to Andrea, her mom, a little bit before the competition, and the one thing she did say is that she's actually an easy gymnast to coach, which, you know, being coached by my dad back in the day, we always didn't get along all that great. We kind of butted heads once in a while, but she said she, she's easy to coach because we can communicate, we can talk about things more so than some of the other gymnasts in the gym. Another look at Yana's vault. It's nice entry. Very good form in the air. It's a little short on the landing. Could have had a little more height. Yana Bieger, 19 years old, and she's taking it year by year. She's going to see how this year's, year goes, wants to make the world team, and then after that's done, decide if she wants to go on and continue to train for another world championships and possibly for Lunda. The score for Sabrina Be Vega, you can see a 14.05. And that is a decent score. You know, we talked about this earlier uh, tonight. What's a good score under the new code? And a 14, we haven't seen a lot of those under the new code. A 15 seems to be a great score That's as right. of right now. 15 is a great score. And the score is going to go down from the last code because of the requirements going from 10 elements to 8 elements. Um, 8 being on vault, or excuse me, on beam and floor, 5 tumbling and 3 dance. So you will see the scores lower here. Back over to the balance beam, we got Ivana Hong, 16 years old. And she has had quite a tumultuous year. Yes, I do have my word of the day toilet paper. I got that off of. She has had a change of gyms as well. And uh, she's down in Texas now at Wogo training with Nastia. You know, Tasha, going into 2008, my thought about Ivana was, man, this girl from 2000, 2007 to 2008 is going to be one to watch. But she had some injuries. She had some obstacles to overcome and really didn't pan out, I think, the way a lot of people thought she would. I agree. I mean, in coming into the Olympic year, she was on fire, a very clean gymnast, hit almost all the time. And it was just very unfortunate to see her as an alternate on the team. But um, she ended up taking four months off after the Olympic Games regrouped and up moving gyms from Alphonse Gym Gage and now is at Wolga and she looks like she's doing pretty well. This is something I want to talk to you about too and you experienced this Tasha taking time off after an Olympic Games for someone who's never taken a day off and you take four months off and you know Ivana's done that um, Nastia's had a little bit more time off than she's used to. Sam had to take some time off. How hard is that for someone who's never been out of shape to get back into top form? You know, I think age has a lot to do with it. Uh, when I was 15 after the 2000 Olympics, I took about four months off. But being so young, I felt like I could bounce back really quick into it. Um, someone like Nastia, 
who has never taken a day off, and all of a sudden, every week she's traveling, she's taking three days off and only training four. It's harder for her, but yet, again, you know, she's still been in every training camp.